This week, we will visit Thais and Tiara's father-daughter dance, talk to local students about their career here at the Bulletin, and tell you what local event lets you sip and shop. Check it out! Every little girl felt special at the second annual Ties and Tiaras Father-Daughter Dance hosted by the Manteca Youth Advisory Commission and the Manteca Parks and Recreation Department. We took our camera there to capture all the sweet moments and talk to Brandy Clark about similar events coming up. daughter dance and uh, we have themed it um, ties and tiaras it's for ages four through teenagers and we came up with this idea with our Manticate Youth Advisory Commission um, they wanted to do some other events that involve um, different ages of children we do um, the teen dances which are just strictly for sixth through eighth graders so we wanted to have something that involved more children Upcoming events is March 20th, we have our Teen Dance, which is at Golden West School for 6th through 8th graders. Um, March 27th, we have our Glitz and Glamour event. We'll have over 30 vendors here at the Manteca Senior Center, and it's going to be for the ladies, all about health, health and beauty and clothes and fashion. So don't miss out, it's a free, free admission. And then also on March 28th, we have our annual Breakfast with the Bunny event. Uh, it's at 9 o'clock a.m. You must get your tickets beforehand. Seven students from the Manteca Adventist Christian School visited the Bulletin office as a part of their career week. We gave them a tour and answered all their curious questions. Is that a job that you hire kids to do still, or teenagers to do? Or? I think they have to be at least 16. They have to drive and have a driver's license. Okay. And um, it's kind of not safe like it used to be to ride their bicycles because it's really foggy at that time of morning. But we don't have the um, guys on the bicycles anymore. If you like to talk to people, if you like to be social, and if you like to just not sit in the office but drive around and visit different places, right. this position will be great. Right. <laughs> and I want to show you these are the magazines. We also sell magazines, so we go to every business. We ask them what they need us to do for them, what, what their goal is, and um, then we put an ad together. We send it back to another department. Thank you. Finally, Dance and Cheer Stars is planning their spring boutique and wine tasting. We talked to Harmony Ribeiro and Tammy Vasquez about this sip and shop event.
Well, Dance and Cheer Stars, this is actually our second event that we've had uh, for the Wine Tasting Spring Boutique. And um, our Spring Boutique and our Christmas Boutiques have been very popular, so we added the wine tasting in the evening to give it more of an up-class feel, as well as the students can raise money for their competition fees, since we're not a nonprofit. So the event in Manteca, because we have two events, we actually have one in Manteca and one in Lodi. So the one in Manteca is on March 28th. Yeah, and then there's one in Lodi on May 9th as well. And the Spring Boutique, it's pretty easy. That just runs from 10 a.m. until 3, and that's open to the public, and then that will just be at least 25 vendors. We normally, yeah, typically we fill all four rooms, and it's a variety of vendors ranging from clothing to jewelry, um, candles, and you know, just a whole health and beauty products as well. There's all kinds of great, great selection. Yeah, we try not to double any of the vendors. So it'll be all totally different things that you can come and shop for, and that's from um, 10 to 3. And then we close it, and then Tammy and I get ready for the wine <laughs> tasting within like an hour and a half. So we told her reset everything. The vendors can go take a little break, and then we have tickets, and then that will be opened up for just the ticketed people, where they will get the wine tasting, which is for uh, $20 a ticket, includes uh, four glasses of wine and appetizers. And so those will be set up in each of the rooms, so mm -hmm. that way we can create a variety of uh, good shopping experience, say sip and shop, as you mentioned, and uh, that way it makes it kind of a little bit more interactive for the vendors as well, because there we have many vendors that have supported us over the years, and so as a way to give back to them, we try to also have a, a great group of people that come out and you know will take time to look at their booths as well. <laughs> Yeah, and um, we just did it last year just as a test run to see how it how it went, and everyone enjoyed the event so mm -hmm. much. So then we're like, oh, we're just gonna make it an annual thing, and the kids raise money, so that's a, a plus. Yeah, and also what we do too is because uh, we do make the vendors um, donate a raffle prize, and so then we hold a raffle. So every year we donate the raffle money to another organization. And so the organization that we chose would be? This year we're doing Sierra High Sober Grad. We also host an annual holiday boutique as well. So this mm -hmm. has started several years back and then that's how we branched out and added the, mm -hmm. the Spring Boutique obviously as another way for the kids to earn money. But as Harmony mentioned, this year we're gonna support Sierra High Sober Grad and all the money that's raised from the raffle prize yeah. will be donated back to the school. And uh, so we want to reach out to all the Sierra High uh, uh, parents in the area, and if they come down and buy raffle tickets, they'll actually get double the amount. So if they yeah, all they dollars worth, then they'll get ten dollars worth. Yeah. So all and basically all they have to do is just mention Sierra High Sober Grad, and that's what we did mm -hmm. for the Christmas one, and then we just doubled all their raffle tickets. So Wait. even beyond people that don't go to Sierra, if you at least mention mm -hmm. Sierra High Sober Grad, then you also get double the tickets. Yeah. And we chose Sierra because we have some seniors graduating this year from Sierra High that's been on our team for a while. So that's just who we chose good way to get back. Yep. Thank you for watching the Central Valley Beat. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Nina Frisbee and I'll see you again in two weeks.